comes down, three to go. This time around, we're gonna do the obvious counterpart of Ruby and Sapphire, which is Emerald. And we'll do it in the Space Angler, which is a very similar car to the uh, White Cat that we used last time. Except it's considerably lighter. First time around, is we've got Fire Field, which is sort of a... I mean, that's a well-known track in the F-Zero world simply because it was the final track of the original SNES game. It certainly lived up to its reputation of being the last track by also being the hardest and the longest. It kind of threw a little bit of everything at you. The F-Zero X, F -Zero X incantation was not as difficult and actually fell into the same location in the track order as this one did. But this one doesn't really resemble either one of them. I mean, certainly it's got the fire going for it, though this one has a considerably more industrial look to it. I think it looks kind of cool, actually. But, um, as you can see right now, it's sort of a reverse version of the uh, tunnel that we had before in Port Town. Rather than uh, going inside the tunnel, we're on the outside, but really that doesn't change a lot. We can actually apply a lot of the same strategies. Follow the leader to figure out where the turbos are. We can uh, try and run the inside of the track whenever possible, and we can travel. We can completely disregard which way is down, though it's a little easier to tell that right now. At least we can disregard it until we get near the end of the track, which we're coming up on right now. Once you see these obstructions, though, then we fall right into our energy zone. Congrats, you have done one lap. So if our position right now is anything to go by, the next two will not be that difficult. Unfortunately, the tracks will not get any easier from here on out, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. Those steps there are you're going to lose speed on, so I usually use turbo coming out of that to help out with uh, accelerating back into uh, the usual. Though beyond that, it's mostly just finding the straightaways to accelerate on, or just using them to make up for any turbos that you've missed. I hear other people catching up. I don't let you catch up too much here. Still a half second. That's not a lot by F-Zero standards, but uh, for what I've got right now, I'll take what I can get. Alright. Still in very good position here, I think. Raining fire. It's like a thing of worse things for it to rain. The second one, I guess. Annoying enough of Guitar Hero, wasn't it? And hey, we got ourselves a victory! Yep, count him up. Alright, so we are in, we're right behind the white cat. How does that make any sense? Because it's not me, I know. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can defend our lead in the next track, Green Planet. Go right around there, I guess. Now this is going to take a concept that we've seen before, the, uh, the pipe, or tunnel, and then it's going to intersect it with straight road. Literally intersect it. I mean, the uh, pipe that we just went through becomes the walls for the straightaway, in the middle of the track. It's a concept that I really like, and yet you never really notice that 
until you're uh, just looking at the map from before. Yeah, now you're going to need to go back 30 seconds to actually view that map, aren't you? Anyway, here's the pipe. And there are very few turbos during this entire thing. And the ones we do see are actually very close to an energy zone towards the end. So right now, I don't really have that much to work off of in terms of uh, any sort of speed tricks besides just trying to stay on the inside again. Turbo. More energy here. The track spreads out again. Here's the actual intersection here, which most of the, the CPU racers will just try to go slalom style for to hit all five turbos. I usually only go for three of them myself. Mostly out of the, uh, ease of use, but later on I can just do turbo in between them to make up for that anyway, because I can have more energy than I really need. You'll see what I mean coming up here. Though, that said, because there's so much of those energy zones throughout this entire track, I can afford these turbos a little more often than usual. Even though I, a lot of the time, don't. So it doesn't look good. I can't tell if it's not helping me or they're, they're just capitalizing on, on an opportunity I'm not. Anyway, once I've reached this point, I can start just kind of uh, stacking one turbo after the other. So I'll get to use, uh, or I'll get to get, get to the, uh, energy zone here to just make up for everything. Yeah, we are kind of far behind, but we can definitely even the playing field some. Try not to hit walls in the process. Well, I think we hit too many walls that time. So here's the part where I hope that nobody that did well last time did well this time. And it's probably not going to work out that way. I can't remember who else was on the top of the uh, charts last time. So, um, looks like I wasn't that far off. I mean, I'm not that far behind first, still. At least considering, uh, how these usually tend to go. Next up, we have Casino Palace Double Branches. And this is a track where the road's gonna split into, um, multiple parts four times. Technically six, but two of them don't really count. So, uh... I mean, each road's gonna have its each pros and cons here. I tried to explain my reasoning for taking each one here. Now, our first split is straight off the bat here, and I will go left to start. The right side has an energy zone, which is not really gonna help us at this point in the uh, track. Now, on the other hand, we've got some very early turbos. If we hit enough of them, I can hit this dash and just go straight up to the top again for more turbos. The next track one's right here. I'll go left this time because that actually has turbos. Energy here. Now this next split is fairly inconsequential, but I usually go right, just because I'm a little more familiar with where the dash zones actually are. I think there's about the same number of dashes on each side. So, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's get it out just a little bit, not too bad. And the last one is kind of like the, the uh, second one we saw. Except, uh... Turbos are on the other side, which I completely missed both of. Now that we have Turbo, we'll actually have need to refill energy. I'll go right from here on out. With the 
this track, we've got energy zones that are well spaced enough that I can start using turbos kind of a lot here, making this one of the faster paced tracks we've seen in a little while. Especially considering how long the thing actually is. Well, let's take a change of pace and go left this time. That was about the same number. Just a little bit more on the right side. Not by much. Alright, we'll do the same thing here. We lost a lot of momentum there. We can gain it, I think. Yeah, we really got ahead of it, didn't we? Look at that. Happen? I gotta stop slamming into walls like that. That's not healthy for me. Or my self-esteem. Yeah, or my pride, you're right. No, oh, we got back ahead at least. Split seconds. They're all going left. I keep wondering if there's something they don't they know that I don't. Or just maybe it's weird AI, because we've seen enough of that, too. Alright, this time I'll take a little bit of a risk and jump to the end. I don't like the risk quite yet. Oh, I lost some momentum at the very end there. It still had a pretty strong finish, so I'm okay with that. I don't think Golden Fox was someone that I'm really concerned about their positions. Well, he's a little bit further ahead than I thought. I'm gonna lose a little bit in the standings, but I mean, I'm still close enough that I'm gonna stay competitive as we move into our fourth track, Lightning. Halfpipe. Now, I know what you're thinking, but the Halfpipe is actually not a new concept for the uh, F-Zero uh, series. Okay, maybe I don't know what to do. But, uh, at the same time, I mean, we've seen the, uh, light, the half-pipe idea as far back as F-Zero X with White Land 2, which I think fell around the same position this one did as well. But the, uh, half-pipe itself is used much more creatively here. Now, the first part's really not going to be that much different than what you're used to. And you can kind of use the uh, dotted line at the uh, bottom as a guide for where the center of the halfpipe is. Something that's going to become very helpful coming up here. See, the road splits into two. It actually opens up again at the bottom. And then does that again. But once again, if you're just following the, bottom, the uh, dotted line, you're okay. Here we're going to get little corkscrew, which really doesn't, uh, affect much anyway. Because by now you figured it out. Stay on the dotted line. And don't do that. One more try. Now I'm probably not going to get a chance to kill five racers in this, which is how you earn an extra life in this. So I'm going to have to do everything all in one shot here now. Considering that's not much different than the uh, last two recordings that I used, I think we'll be okay. Maintaining a decent position throughout all this. Alright, we've got a very strong turn coming up here. And then... Over at this part, we have some lasers, which are far too thin to really be that much of a threat. Alright, now we, let's see if we can do that again, except gain a few positions in the process.
too much traffic to deal with here. Saved myself at the last second there. Didn't really look like it helped us at all. of a dip there. I'd probably use a uh, turbo if I uh, had more energy to actually do something with it. Alright, improved slightly there. Alright, now let's see if we can get a strong finish at least. It's a racing game. That's really all we need here, right? Take that all the same. Actually, could be approaching the end of this in a very good position, I think. Hold back a little more than I should have at the end there. Just didn't want to end up in a case where I was going to crash into another car, and that was going to be what killed me. But I did finish ahead of my rival, which, well, that's in the positions we're in. That's only going to give me a, the advantage we'll get from that's going to be pretty small. But 21 points to make up on the last track is not infeasible. The last track, though, is. One of the more difficult ones in this game. Yeah, I guess I never really adapted that well to Big Blue, did I? Alright, Leon, do your Zidane from Final Fantasy IX victory pose taunt there, and let's get this over with. So, with an ordeal like this, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of everything. Though, mostly it's going to throw us from one kind of track to the next. In, no sh in rapid fire succession, too. We do have some energy fairly, very early on here. Playing this a little too slow, I think, for right now. Make it up later, I guess. I gotta stop lagging behind like this, too, though. Well, I don't need the energy here, so I can kind of take a little bit of a shortcut to get the other dash there. Drift through those. The track could be very narrow in a few points. We've got another one just like that coming up here. Too narrow for me to really even make that much of it and go into an offensive mode, too. Of course, now that I have the turbo, turbo's going here, I can try getting myself a little more into the lead. Almost was able to kill off my rival. Whoa! I don't lose so much energy like that. 
not going to be good. i got to take it easy for a bit. There we go. Alright, now let's pick ourselves up a little again here. Wait a second, I just realized, was that even the right rival? Wait, it has to... Oh! Well, that's going to kill our chances, but it was worth it seeing something like that, wasn't it? No one here, I can, uh, it's a little easier for me to navigate this part, at least. Alright, I see the rest of the, uh, pack there. And I see that my rival's going to do very poorly on this track, you know? And I'm out of energy, aren't I? Yep. I gotta settle for dead last. So, yeah, that was a disaster, and I definitely lost the, uh, right, the, uh, cup this time. But you know what? How badly was it? Fourth place in the end. And you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. Because I've had to do this so many times, and I guess we can now see how hard this game can actually be here. Now, on the plus side for you, having finished this at some point before, I still have the uh, ending video for him somewhere on file here. So we can kind of take a look. I don't really remember this. Is this supposed to be some sort of virtual reality game or something? It, wait, did he just go from driving a virtual reality car to a skateboard? Wait, are 26th century games always like this? And he's... stopping to pick up... a mutant kitty? Dude, 26th century's awesome! Caption guy, you think I can, you can uh, teach me some temporal powers? Alright, meet me in my office with lots of scrap metal and every copy of Chrono Trigger you can find, alright?